sweet, tender toffee wrapped around earthy, crunchy pecans. These are so easy to make, perfectly paired with cocktails, put them in your salad, or glam up a cheese board. Grab your aprons, let's cook. Hey guys, I'm Shireen, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna make pecan candy. My family loves this. It's super easy to make. When I was developing the recipe and then I was testing it over and over, they kept sneaking in the kitchen, of course, eating all of them before I could photograph them. These are so delicious, but there's two secret ingredients that are super important to know that makes them beautiful, that makes them tender, so that way they're not tough on your teeth and they're really easy to eat and delicious. So first to get started, we have our pecans, and now we're just gonna place them on a baking sheet lined with Silpat. You could also line it with parchment paper. Now you're gonna wanna do that because after when we go to pull each pecan that's candied apart, it just makes it easier. And now we wanna warm these through and just slightly toast them just a little bit into a 300 degree oven for about five, seven minutes. All right, so now to make the toffee. So we have a quarter cup or four tablespoons of unsalted butter. So we wanna melt that first. And really important, you want a candy thermometer. Super important, so definitely grab one of these. It's hard to gauge it just with time and temperature. This will give you precise candy. So our heat is on medium, medium low. You wanna cradle between the two. And now we're gonna make our toffee. So we have our melted butter. Now we have our granulated sugar, our light brown sugar, and for one of the secret ingredients. So here's what I like to do, because you have to measure it in a tablespoon. Just take some cooking spray, give it a spritz, because when you're measuring out the light corn syrup, it won't stick and it will just easily pour right into our mixture. So why this is one of the secret ingredients is because corn syrup, just that little bit, gives the candy that glassy texture, that sort of shiny texture. So think about candy apples, right? When that red, beautiful candy apple looks like glass, corn syrup, that's the trick. And then just a little bit of half and half. So this just gives it a nice body to it. And then we need a little bit of salt. And then our last secret ingredient, we add at the very end. So here's what you wanna do. You wanna completely stir this and make sure all that sugar is dissolved over medium, medium low heat. Just sort of cradle the heat back and forth. You just wanna stir the sugar mixture until all that sugar is dissolved. You can stir the mixture occasionally, but really once it's melted, you just wanna let it be and let it kind of boil. You'll start to see it bubble all throughout the surface. Remember, you are making candy. This is hot. All right, so we're almost there. Once the candy thermometer starts to reach about 275, you wanna cut the heat because it's gonna climb that extra five degrees. And now the secret ingredient. So a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Oh my gosh, revolutionary. Why baking soda? Because it tenderizes. Just like it does in baking, it makes your baked goods tender. It makes this candy tender. So when you're crunching down on that candy, it doesn't hurt your teeth. It just breaks beautifully. So you see how it pulls away, almost like little rubber bands. So don't overstir it too much because we'll cool the candy. Now we need to add our pecans right in there. We want it to set perfectly. So one, two, three. And 
now we're going to take two forks, so have them lined up and ready to go, and quickly just separate them. Now you just want to let it set at room temperature for a few hours to harden just like a brittle. And then when it's ready to go, you're just going to break it apart. So you could break it apart in big chunks, rustic little pieces, or if you're having a dinner party or a cocktail party and you want to make them perfect in individual little pecans, take a paring knife and then trim away the excess toffee. Now they look absolutely perfect. You could place them in a candy bowl, put them on a charcuterie board, place them in your salads, or break them apart in big pieces and just eat them like candy. Perfect, and look how beautiful they are. They have that beautiful glassy shine. So there you have it, pecan candy that you can make at home. So, we gotta give it a taste. Mmm. The toffee is so tender because of the baking soda. What a great, it, I mean, it's all about science, right? Aren't the crunchy pecans, perfectly tender toffee. You guys are gonna love these. For the recipe, you can find it down in the description. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, comment in the comment box below. Be sure to subscribe because I roll out a new recipe video each week and for more, of my homemade made easy recipes, you can either click this link right here or click this one and I'll meet you over there.